Hi and welcome. In this video, we will show how to easily load Pies into Unity 3D using the unique template that we created. The purpose of this Unity template is to make it easy for designers to import Pies into Unity with simple steps. Currently, there are only a few options to let you preview your prototypes in a 3D scene. These available options do not provide enough flexibility like Unity in authoring the prototypes in 3D environments, such as changing the XYZ position, rotating, scaling, etc. However, directly using your high-fidelity prototypes is still a big challenge for those who don't have prior coding experience and knowledge in programming. These challenges motivated us to create a Unity template that allows designers to easily import high-fidelity prototypes they created from ProtoPie into Unity 3D with a few steps to make it fully interactable in 3D and VR environments. Using this template, anyone can load Pies into Unity to see this live preview on the Quest headset just by simply copying the Pies address from ProtoPie Connect and pasting it into Unity objects. The template project in this video was tested with Unity 2020.3.28, so, if you would like to test it, we recommend installing this version or any long-term support version that came after it. To use this template, you don't need to go through a complicated setup process because we already did it for you. So, all you have to do is just to download the project and load it in Unity. First off, let's take a look at these two Pies created for this demo. The first Pie is a video player that controls the playback of the video. It has two main components. One is a video player, which contains four video files of movie trailers, and the other is player control, which has buttons and sliders to control the playback of the video. The background color is now set as green instead of transparent, so that the OpenGL shader on the Unity template detects it and renders it as transparent on Unity. At this moment, the background will render black if you set the background as transparent on ProtoPie. We're working on this to make it available to render the background transparent on Unity. This feature will be rolled out in the future release of ProtoPie Connect. The second pie shows the list of movie trailers that we can play. When we choose one of the trailers on the list, it sends out a message with the number assigned to each video. Then the first pie of the video player receives it and plays the corresponding video in it. Now let's try to load these two pies into Unity 3D environment and display them on separate 3D planes. To do so, we need to first load them onto ProtoPie Connect by dragging and dropping pies onto the ProtoPie Connect window. Once we load them on ProtoPie Connect, we can see them on the browser by clicking the screen button. Now we are ready to import our pies to Unity. Upon opening the Unity template, we are presented with a number of objects in the scene. Among them is a point light object whose lighting color and intensity can be adjusted. By clicking on the point light and inspecting it, we can modify the color of the lighting. Initially, the color is set to brown, but we can easily switch to any other color as we can see here. Additionally, we can alter the intensity allowing us to adjust the brightness of the lighting. As for the background object, it renders a 360-degree image of a living room on a sphere, providing a background for the VR scene. To set a different 360-degree spherical background, simply click on the background object and navigate to the background material. From there, you can change the textures as needed. Currently, there are only two 360-degree images available in this template, but you can easily replace them with other files that have been loaded onto the template. To do so, simply drag and drop the desired image file from the File Explorer directly into Unity. We can then demonstrate this by dragging and dropping onto the texture icon. Once the new image is loaded, we can rotate it to see the full 360-degree view. In addition, there's an object called XR Interaction Manager and an XR Origin, but for now, we don't need to worry about them. Our template will use the default selection method, which is a technique called ray casting. This method involves pointing a controller at any objects in the 3D scene and selecting them. 
It's straightforward and intuitive, and we're using it in this example. However, we can add other types of interaction or selection methods to the script if needed. The two canvas objects are some of the most critical elements in the Unity template. They are responsible for loading the pies into Unity, and each one contains the Canvas WebView prefab. This prefab is created using the 3D WebView plugin for Unity, which allows you to display your web page as a 3D surface and interact with it in a 3D and VR environment. During this video, we will load the first pie onto the main canvas located on the left side and the second pie onto the side canvas on the right side. To bring the first pie onto the WebView canvas, we need to know its URL, which we can find by clicking the monitor button in ProtoPie Connect and copying the URL from the browser. In Unity, if we click the Canvas WebView prefab, we can see the initial URL field on the inspector pane, where we can simply paste the URL we just copied. We'll do the same for the side canvas, and then we'll be ready to show the pies in a 3D scene. Let's run the project and see it on the headset. But first, we need to make sure our Quest is connected to the PC with Oculus Link. Once we've done that, we can proceed to run the project and see it on the headset. Now the Oculus Link is on, let's try to run it. If we choose the second thumbnail, it plays the movie trailer, and we can go forward and backward using the button. We can choose the other thumbnail to play the other movie trailer, and of course, move forward and backward. We can also scrub through the slides, which works well. Let's try playing the first one too and see if it works. Yes, everything works just the same as in ProtoPie, which is awesome. Unfortunately, the Oculus Link connection is not available on Mac OS, so the live preview will not be accessible. However, you can still use this template by building it as an Android application and loading it onto the Quest. Now, we have pies loaded as 3D objects, which means that we have all the flexibility that we normally have with the other Unity objects. We can now move, rotate, and scale the canvas, just like normally we control the other objects on Unity. And of course, we can create more canvases just by copying and pasting one of the canvases and entering the URL that corresponds to the pie you want to load. Also, if we make any modification on ProtoPie Studio, it will automatically refresh, so we don't need to repeat the loading process all over again. Let's change the slider knot color to white, for instance. Afterward, we can run Unity to see the immediate changes. I don't want to scare the rest of the passengers. I'm afraid you're stuck with this, Captain. Get them on board, let's... We can count those minutes in line. This concludes our demo. If you have any questions or feedback regarding this template, this video, or any general inquiries about ProtoPie or ProtoPie Connect, please don't hesitate to submit them to the survey page below. Thank you for watching.